Hello, my name is Natalia and welcome to my Chromatic Nature YouTube channel. On this channel, I post videos about using natural dyes. Today's video is kind of different from my normal videos because I'm not dyeing clothes today. I'm going to use organic indigo powder to dye my hair blue. There's a lot of organic indigo products for hair out there, but most of them Pretty much all of them that I've come across up till now don't advertise that the indigo will make your hair blue. They advertise to use the indigo in combination with henna to make your hair brown or black. Which was a bummer for me because there's natural hair color products out there, but they're all meant to give you natural hair colors like red, auburn, you can get brown hair colors, but there really isn't much out there for 100% natural hair color products that will give you like blue, purple, pink hair colors. So I actually found this hair color supplier in India. I was really intrigued because they were advertising their organic indigo powder as a blue hair dye. So here we go. Um, I got them to send me a pack. So my hair at the moment, it's not perfectly stripped of all color, but it's pretty close. Like it's definitely not purple anymore. The back of my head is a little purple still, but we're just gonna ignore that. It's kind of damaged from the bleachings. Also, I have like half an inch of roots grown out by now. My hair kind of covers all the bases of what could be wrong with it when you're trying to dye it. And I think overall this makes me a good um, trial participant for this. So I am going to split my hair up into little ponytails as I do when I dye my hair at home. And then we'll um, see how this works. Actually, first I'm gonna make the dye mixture. I'm mixing one part indigo powder to three parts warm water. I'm using my bowl that's dedicated to hair color stuff and just one of my plastic stirring spoons. So this indigo powder is green. That is because it is actually ground up indigo leaves. It's not the same as the powder that I use to dye clothes when I make the indigo vat. That blue powder is extracted indigo pigment from the leaves and it's more concentrated but it's also not water soluble. This powder is actually just the ground up leaves and it is water soluble, but it takes more time to develop a blue color out of it. It takes me some time to get the mixture nice and uniform so that it's not lumpy. All right, so my hair is in the little ponytails um, and here's my indigo mix. It's gotten thicker since I've put my hair up. I think the directions said to apply to dry hair. They weren't super clear to me. Okay. So you should have a comb around. I got a comb. So I'm just gonna use my hands to apply this. Feels Less like applying hair dye and more like, I don't know, what I imagine rubbing mud on your hair would feel like. Kind of earthy, you know? Let me try to comb it through. I don't know if that's, oh, oh, it's not coming through. That's just not gonna happen. Okay. So here's a funny thing about this hair dye. It might be green for the first couple days after applying it to your hair, uh, and, but after two days, it's supposed to turn blue. They actually sent me two packs of this hair dye, so I figured if I miss spots with the first application, I could do a second. Fun fact, I have a wedding to go to less than a month from now, so I gotta make sure my hair is presentable at that point in time. There's definitely spots in here that are probably not gonna get enough color. 
I'm not gonna be super saturated later, but I can't comb it through. It, it, the instructions said comb it through, but like, to keep it on my hair for about an hour. My hair's doing its thing in the shower cap. One good sign that my hair will be blue later and not green is my fingernails. They are very blue. Okay, I washed it out. I didn't shampoo it, but I did use conditioner on it. Right now it's green, but that's what it said it would be. All right, so it's only been like three and a half hours, but I just wanted to check in and say, look how green my hair is. It's so green. Well, it has been two days and here's what my hair looks like now. I haven't washed it. It's definitely less green, but it's not super blue. It's kind of a gray, like not even like gray hair gray, like gunmetal gray with like a hint of blue so i've decided today that i'm going to put a second coat of the indigo on my hair i'm gonna go ahead and use the second package that they sent me and see um what color that gets me obviously it's gonna get darker but i think it will also give a more vibrant color so I'm gonna go wash my hair and then apply the dye to it again and this time I might leave it on for longer, maybe like two hours before I wash it out. But I'm not going to film this because I, I already did it, I already filmed it, it's the same thing, I'm gonna do the same thing again. And here we are, this is what my hair looks like after two coats of the indigo dye. This time when I dyed my hair I left it on for two whole hours. And as you can see, my hair is a lot darker now. I dyed it last night and then I let it air dry overnight. So it's already had some time to oxidize and become less green and more blue. And there is more blue to it. I think this indigo dye would be really great for somebody who wants to just consistently have dark, dark, like black hair with a tint of blue to it. I think this is a very healthy way to go for that instead of using a synthetic dye because I do feel that my hair feels pretty healthy. It actually feels stronger and more conditioned. When I was stripping my hair of the previous color, it got to be really brittle and I was having a lot of hair breakage. And I feel since I've dyed it with the indigo, the hair is a bit less brittle now. So we'll see what this looks like after a couple more days. It washes off of your skin fairly quickly, like after a couple washes, um, my hands were back to their normal color, but my nails are very blue and no amount of washing seems to be uh, fixing that. So uh, now I'm gonna go about my life and I'll check in in a couple more days and show you guys what the color looks like then. Well, let's see. It's been four days since I dyed it the second time and I washed my hair for the first time since then this morning. I tried to kind of match my makeup to my hair's vibe today just to get into that dark hair color mood. Um, also, my nails it never washed off. What I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna paint my nails and that's how I'm gonna solve that problem. Yeah, like right now it definitely looks blue. It looks so much more blue when I'm standing outside. Hmm. I wanted to look at my hair again with the backdrop off because it is a very bright blue indigo backdrop. It might be making it hard to actually look at the hair color. So here it is without the blue backdrop.
there's a lot of different tones going on, different shades of bluish to purple. There's just a lot going on. The downside is it's not a bright, vibrant color and it's not a straightforward process like if you buy a jar of generic hair dye you can get at the drugstore. You're like, okay, it's blue, you put it on your hair, it's blue, that's it. This is not the case. This is like a natural hair adventure journey where you get different colors, different days, different colors and different lighting, different shades within your hair. I think if I left it on for more like two hours the first time, right now it would be like really fully covered. I feel like I could use a third coat to really like try to get it all saturated but i don't have any more so i'm just gonna see how this fades out now all right this is what my hair looks like outside after i've washed my hair three times now you can see it's still very blue and the blue might actually be more vibrant because it's getting lighter so it doesn't look as dark the top over here Kinda of purple. I don't know, yellowish. Mm. This is my biggest complaint. Why did I not cover this part more thoroughly? What I have to say about it now is it does wash out. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to ever just kind of on its own wash it out completely. I don't think so. But it does leave your hair much like synthetic dye does. Also, I've been using regular shampoo. I haven't been using any sort of color safe shampoo. I haven't been like trying to keep the color intact. So here's my main gripe with this dye. Over here, it's very like yellowish. And I'm not sure why, because especially the second time, the second package of the hair dye that I used, I really concentrated on this part because I saw that the first package of dye did not cover it. But the second package didn't cover it either. And now that it's getting washed out, that part is definitely getting lighter the fastest. But I'm also noticing how over here it's getting to be like that too, where you can see that the dye is kind of not really concentrated there anymore. This part of my hair is very blue. Let me see. Yeah, yeah that's a nice blue section. That's pretty blue. I have like three colors in my hair right now. There's the blue, there's the purple, and there's this yellowish thing going on. It's like this trifecta of color. I wish it just covered my hair uniformly made it all the same color so that's my indigo dyeing hair story for you guys hope you enjoyed it and i don't know if it encourages you to try this or it discourages you from trying it but at least you've now seen what my hair looks like with it i can't really speak to what it would look like on top of not bleached hair because bleached hair and not bleached hair, they act very different with dyes. If your hair is bleached out like mine was and you dye it with just indigo, then you might expect these type of results. So I'm not completely sure, but I think the product that I used, because it was just organic green indigo powder, if you buy that kind of ground indigo powder from any source, it would work the same. But okay, maybe don't take my word for it because I don't know that. I think there is going to be a part two to this video, which is going to be me trying to strip the indigo out of my hair. So uh, stay tuned for that. Bye. Now that my hair is freshly dyed, uh, we're going to go take it out for a mushroom picking adventure. It's actually pretty blue, you know? Once you um, get it in the light, Oh, I don't know. Here it looks blue.